In this section, we're going to focus on accessibility solutions for learning. We are joined by Troy Waller, who is a learning delivery specialist and accessibility council member at Microsoft Australia. Hi, my name's Troy. I'm a learning delivery specialist and the accessibility lead for Microsoft Australia Education. I have the really fun job of going from school to school and helping them understand all the great things they can do with technology to give those kids that need that little bit of extra help a little bit of extra help. We know that about 50% of instructional time can be lost by teachers needing to meet those additional learning needs. And we also know that it's about 100% of schools that have kids in their programs that need that extra support. We also know that about 30% of students in New South Wales schools come from a background where the language at home is other than English. So when it comes to our technologies, we want to help students build a foundation for future success. So we know that kids really would rather miss out than stand out. So we want to make sure that the technology is there in a sort of a hidden way, in a way that can help them get the support without them standing out to their peers or the people around them. So in other words, our technology is all about building independence, but also the reduction of stigma. We also want to build institutions that have a really good reputation around inclusivity and equity. So as they open up these technologies to their students, the community sees that they're actually doing their best to build these inclusive environments. The other thing that we want to make sure is that technology isn't a burden to the teacher. We want to make sure that the technology is something that's really helpful to the teacher and helps them to engage every learner. There's a lot of tools in the Microsoft education accessibility space, but what sits at the top is probably Immersive Reader. It was designed originally to target dyslexia, but it's grown and developed where it's just helping kids from all different needs and all different walks of life. So the scenario we have here is a piece of text that let's say a year seven girl is struggling with. Maybe she's challenged by low vision or maybe it's dyslexia or something like that. But what happens for her is when she comes to this piece of text, she's largely locked out or at least locked out to keeping up with the rest of the rest of the girls in her class. So what she can do instead is she can actually click here on Immersive Reader. And then we see Immersive Reader opens up as a whole screen application. But the cool thing about it is it's taken away all the bells and whistles from the app. So all those distractions, all those colors, they're all gone. And she can make changes to this, to this document inside the actual document. So she's not having to go out to her browser settings or her, um, PC settings. This can all happen inside the actual document. And you can see here that when she clicks on text preferences, she can increase and decrease her text size. And she can also increase the spacing. And the spacing there is increased between the letters, between the lines, and between the words. And we know that's really important when it comes to something like, like dyslexia, when dealing with something called visual crowding. So that spacing can be accentuated even further by increasing the text size again. She has the ability, the ability to change her font. She also has the ability to change her theme. So she can throw that into dark mode or something that's really nice for her eyes. But where it gets really cool is when she hits play. The Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus, Octopus paxivalis, can be found in the temperate rainforests of the Olympic Peninsula on the west coast of North America. Now you notice in there, the ability for that to actually read with an Aussie accent. So it's actually reading the language pack on her machine or reading the browser and coming through with an Aussie accent. So you can change that accent if you want. We also have the ability to break words into syllables. Now that imitates the way that a teacher would teach a child to read, to break a word down into syllables and it's what we call chunking. So instead of having the aid sitting there doing that with the student, the technology is going to pick that up for her. She can highlight the nouns, the verbs, the adjectives, the adverbs, and she can change the colours there as well if she has trouble distinguishing colours. And if she's really stuck with colors, she has the ability to click on the show labels button and it'll show those there. Now, the cool thing about this is the AI is really powerful here and it's actually contextualizing those words. So instead of just looking at a word, say like tag and reading it as a, as a verb, it'll look at it and say, are we gonna play tag? And it'll throw it in as a noun. Very, very cool. The other thing that's nice is the line focus. So that reduction of distraction even further is right there. And now when we hit play. The habitat lies on the eastern side of the Olympic mountain range, adjacent to Hood Canal. The you can see it's, it's reduced that. And of course, let me not forget, the ability to speed it up and slow it down, of course, is there. 
The other thing that we've got is what's called the picture dictionary. And this is powered by Boardmaker. So if anyone knows Boardmaker as a, as a tool, you know it's really, really good. When I click on some of these words now, I'm going to get a picture dictionary that's going to pop up and give me prompts, again, based on the way that we teach reading. And lastly, and I think most powerfully, is the ability to translate into multiple languages. So if you've got a student that's coming from an EAL background, and let's say that that student has recently arrived from Korea or comes from a Korean speaking family, now they may hit some words that they're, that they're struggling with. Now they can actually hear it in English. Average. And also hear it in Korean. Pyongyun. What's really cool too is this ability to translate the entire document. So now what happens for our Korean student is they can listen to that entire document spoken to them in Korean. And you'll notice on there what's really cool is we're getting the parts of speech noted in Korean as well as back in the original in English. So it really depends on the language that you're going to access through this as to what features are going to be there. But usually you'll find that it'll speak to you, it'll show the parts of speech, and it also has a picture dictionary. So now let's have a look at this video of a little boy who's using Immersive Reader on a daily basis, and it's really changing his life. A boy rides a scooter. The fact that over the summer, <laughs> child can go from basically nothing to having the world at their fingertips and being able to read and being willing to try. It's, it's more than a miracle. I think it's more than anybody can, can expect. Microsoft plus accessibility. The boy enters a home. Even in kindergarten, Anjay was incredibly bright, but he couldn't read. The difficulty reading continued to second grade. Shortly after Anjou was diagnosed with dyslexia, a friend of mine said she saw something online about a tool from Microsoft for kids with dyslexia. I made an appointment at our local Microsoft store. We went in, they downloaded learning tools, asked Anjou to sit down, and my son read. It was amazing. Anjou reads from a computer. Anjou, in that moment, conquered the sphere and realized that he could access something that had been inaccessible to him. I saw my little boy read and knew that here was an answer, that here was something that could change his life. Microsoft Learning Tools has been a miracle in our lives. He could get everything in the same font. He was able to lengthen his spaces between words. And that was amazing and so simple. Anji's been happier, more confident. He was living his life where the written word was an enemy. And now it's a thing to be conquered. Microsoft. Microsoft.com slash accessibility. Remember, to access these features, you need to be running the most up-to-date versions of Office and Windows 10. You can also access them online through office.com. So if you think these tools are things that will be helpful to you, speak to your HR manager or ICT manager.